I know I briefly skimmed over this in my previous video, but I now want to go more in depth here regarding the Texans offensive line. Although it may seem like we didn't do much to fix our offensive line, I think we actually made some pretty good moves. Why? Well, he would you really want to pay an average offensive lineman top tier money? I know damn well I wouldn't. Ever since O'Brien got here, the Texans have been good at developing young offensive linemen. Just look at Derek Newton. He was garbage before O'Brien got here. Also look at Brandon Brooks and Ben Jones who also weren't very good before O'Brien. Look at Greg Manx who was arguably our best offensive lineman last season. The only exception seems to be Xavier Suofilo, and it's only his past blocking that makes him pretty bad. Last year, as you guys may know, our offensive line was hit with injuries. Nick Martin, Dwayne Brown, and Derek Newton all missed significant time. Xavier Suofilo and Jeff Allen also dealed with some injuries but that's no excuse in my opinion the offensive line would have been bad regardless but maybe a little bit less bad anyways in my opinion the Texans offensive line is about to get a whole lot better and to be very honest I was very critical of the organization when they didn't go after Rick Wagner in free agency and when they, they didn't trade up for Forrest Lamp in the second round and especially when they didn't spend a single pick on an offensive tackle to the fourth round in this last draft but you know after sitting back on it after doing some research reading some articles and some takes I understand now that the Texans are good at offensive line let me start with the obvious. Dwayne Brown is our left tackle. Yes, he's currently holding out for guaranteed money. And he's going to get that. I guarantee it. At center, we got Nick Martin and Greg Max. Now, many, including myself, had the idea that Martin would move to right guard. Well, it was... I found out from, I want to say it was Pat D. Stat, the guy that runs uh, State of the Texans. If you guys don't know that website, definitely go check it out. That guy puts in a lot of work. Anyways, because of Pat, I found out that before Nick Martin got hurt, Greg Manx was actually getting in work at the right guard position. So, with Martin back at center... I expect Greg Manx to play right guard. Now, I hate Jeff Allen. I'm not going to lie. I think he was a bust of a free agency pickup. But when we picked him up, I was like, damn, this guy's good. He's nasty. He's aggressive. Good run blocker. Good pass blocker. But when he came to Houston, I'm like, what the hell happened? Well, also, Pat D. Stat made it known to me that when Jeff Allen was in Kansas City, he was a left guard. In Houston, he was the right guard. And, I mean, I didn't think it would make that big of a difference, but judging by Jeff Allen, I guess it does make a difference. So, I'm expecting... Jeff Allen to be playing left guard here next season where he's better and more comfortable and not to mention this will be his second season on the team so he'll become more comfortable with the guys now right tackle is wide open but will be better than last year I guarantee it Chris Clark just sucks let's just get that out of the way it's been reported by multiple sources that Kendall Lamb looks great out there. 
Yeah, it is OTAs, but still getting positive news on a player is better than getting no news at all. And it's not just John Harris that you know, said that Kendall Lambs looked good out there. A lot of, you know, Houston sources have said that he looks good. So, you know, if it was just John Harris, I would have been like a little skeptical about it. But since more people have been saying it, I'll believe it. You know, but yeah, Kendall Lamb, people believe he's going to take the spot. Others believe rookie Julian Davenport will start at right tackle. He's an extremely raw player who started every single game in college at left tackle. But he did play against weak competition. So there's definitely a lot he has to learn. But many believe he could be a day one starter at the right tackle position, which is something I could see happening just looking at our offense or our right tackle spot in particular. So, yeah, I could definitely see him starting. Another guy to look at is Lawrence Gibson, who the Texans have been working with since late 2015. The Texans gave the guy a shot. They gave him the playbook and told him to learn it, train and they'll give him a chance. Well, it's time for him to show what he's learned. There's not much else to say about him. So, whoever starts at the right tackle position, whether it's Lamb, Gibson, or Davenport, they'll be better than Chris Clark, that's for sure. So, our starters are Dwayne Brown, Jeff Allen, Nick Martin, Greg Max, Kendall Lamb, Gibson, or Davenport. Which is pretty solid in my opinion. At backups, we'll have Xavier Suofilo, who would be an outstanding backup in my opinion. And we also have Julian Davenport as our new swing tackle. And Kyle Fuller, who can play center and both guards positions. I'd cut Chris Clark. Honestly, he's not good. Cut him. Now... I'm not saying our offensive line will be Dallas Cowboys or Oakland Raiders good, but they'll be good enough to where they aren't a liability anymore, like last season. So, those are my thoughts on the Texans offensive line. Make sure to comment down below, drop a like, and subscribe for more Texans content now coming to you every Tuesday and Friday. So, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.